Today I want to tell you about a unique product, Hydrospan 100, which is a simple molding compound that expands when soaked in water up to 60% and allows you to copy uh, objects, uh, three-dimensional objects. Uh, and we're, today we're going to show you how this is done and how we've progressively grown some of these items three-dimensionally up to larger sizes. Some of the items as we've grown three-dimensional to show you how this works is some common items. One is a common dragonfly that we've taken and actually grown up to a Jurassic Park size. The other one is a 1896 coin that we've actually grown up to larger size as well. So from this to this, but we've done it progressively and we're going to show you how we've done that. So far as the dragonfly goes, down here you can see where we started with molds off the original insect where we parted him out and we've been able to progressively grow him up to an incredibly large Jurassic Park 36 inch wingspan dragonfly. Every nuance of the dragonfly is copied. This is the head of the dragonfly after it's been fully expanded three, three generations. This is the torso. In the beginning, simple alginate molds were made from the insect so as not to disturb its protein nature. Every part was separated out. From that, was molded a hydrospan part. The hydrospan part was then successively molded from hydrospan to silicone. From silicone, expansion back up to more silicone and to the larger piece eventually to here. So you can see the progression. And how that's grown. Similar to what we've done is we've made magnifications of each of the parts from small, medium, and every size that you see is 60% enlargement until you finally get to the ultimate size. So you're looking at essentially three generations of growth here. We've had our A and B in the primary bucket. We're going to give it a good mix. And you can see the swirls of A and B are mixed together. It usually takes us less than a minute to do this one the first time. And we're scraping the outside and the bottom of the side of the container to include all the A and the B. And just to make sure, we're going to use a second bucket. So I'm going to pour from my primary bucket into my secondary bucket and scrape the sides. You need to kind of move because the Hydrospan 100 has got a fairly short uh, working time. Okay? Now, I don't have to mix as long in this bucket as I did the first one. Maybe about 15, 20 seconds. Okay, I've done it. So now I'm going to pour it into my silicone mold. And I don't want to get really high. I want to get kind of low to kind of lead the material into the mold so we don't incorporate a lot of extra bubbles. Because you can get bubbles from mixing and from actual the height in which you trail air into it. You pour it. And you can get bubbles from actual surface tension inside the mold. We're not going to, we're not going to worry about vacuuming this material because in these open face molds, the bubbles will float away from the piece. Okay, well we've done it. We fill it up. It looks good. And we're going to wait. And we can pull this piece out of the mold probably in about 30 minutes or so. But really and truly, you want to pull it out of the mold today and let it cure completely for 24 hours. And then we're going to immerse it in our water bath. We're going to show you all about that. But you don't want to put it into the water bath before 24 hours because you won't get the full benefit of the expansion. It's going to cause you some problems. So stay tuned, and we're going to show you how to put it in the water bath and actually expand this piece. Okay, so we poured our Hydrospan 100 into a silicone mold, and we're going to allow it to cure for 24 hours. Because remember, you never put a Hydrospan 100 part into the mold for the first time unless it's had a chance to cure for 24 hours at 72 degrees or warmer, okay? So now we've done that, and we've already put another one in here to demonstrate what happens. And after 10 days, we're going to pull this out, and we're going to show you what this part looks like. Okay, so we already have a fully expanded part. So keep in mind it went from the Hydrospan 100 part of this size to this fully expanded Hydrospan 100 part in about 10 to 12 days. And I'm going to lay this out here for you. And you can kind of see, there's no glare there, the, the large wings of the dragonfly. This is just a, uh, a uh, soak tank that's Tupperware that we picked up at a local store using just tap water. 
But you can see how phenomenal the expansion is. Move this out of the way between these two. And now we're ready to take a mold off of this either with more uh, silicone condensation or with our hydrocure, which is another uh, polyurea urethane you can use to overcast our wet parts to take molds for your final mold. When expanding the Dragon's Life to demonstrate the ability of Hydrospan 100, you can see readily here with the demonstration of the Dragonfly's head and his midsection thoracic part of the dead different generations. This is the beginning head of a normal dragonfly. After three generations, this is the finished hydrospan head. What's interesting is every nuance of what was in here is information from the ocular patterns in the eyes to every nuance of every taste bud in his head has been recreated. In the thoracic part, same. You can see every nuance of every hair, follicle, and protein scale and where the legs attach and where the wings will attach. This is a small progression of some of the wings. Of course, the last one we had projected up to 36 inches. But you can readily see how each generation becomes larger and larger and all the three-dimensional information is, is copied with great, great fidelity. Hydrospan 100 can copy any object in three dimension and do it with incredible fidelity. Here we took a 1896 silver dollar and with three generations we were able to grow it to almost eight inches across. Every stripe mark and every uh, detail has been, co been copied perfectly with the Hydrospan 1. Well here we have it. We've got our Jurassic Park Dragonfly to show you. The finished piece. These pieces were molded out of hydrospan and then molded in silicone for a negative. And the final product is in our Crystal Cast 9024. Excellent part, excellent fidelity. This is the back wing, the front wing of our Dragonfly, now 32 inches in, in wingspan from a four inch model. Also, here's the head. And every detail is perfect. And the main body, the thoracic part where the wings join. And there you have it. Jurassic Park Dragonfly.